I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to write a C++ program to check whether a number entered by user is positive or negative. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to write a C++ program to check whether a number entered by user is positive or negative. Before entering into the topic, we should know what is meant by a positive number and what is meant by a negative number. Let me see. The positive numbers are the numbers greater than 0, for example, 1, 2.9, etc, etc, etc. And what are the negative numbers? Negative numbers are any numbers less than 0, for example, minus 2, minus 100, minus 4.156, etc, etc. So, where 0 stands in the middle. So, this side, 1, 2, 3, these are called as positive numbers. And minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, it is called as negative. So now we are going to check the code. So here we are going to get a number and we are going to check the number. If the number is greater than 0, it's a positive integer. If a number is less than 0, it's a negative integer. So we are going to use Eclipse Editor in order to check the program. So in order to open the Eclipse Editor, just click the Eclipse icon on the desktop. So just click OK in order to open it. So there's an ID. So in order to create our project, C++ project, go to File and then New and C++ Project. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to File, New and C++ Project. And give an example, let us say, if If and click on empty project and finish. And now we want to add the source file. In order to add the source file, right click your project file that is if and go to new and go to source file. Once again, I repeat the steps right click the project file and go to new and source file. Provide a name. Let us say example one dot cpp so what is cpp cpp stands for c++ file and then click finish so this is in workspace where we are going to type our program so first followed by preprocessor ash is called as preprocessor followed by the keyword include followed by io stream so what is io stream IO stands for input and output stream. All the functions related to input and output are stored inside IO stream.h is an header file. Followed by using namespace standard. So what is a namespace? A namespace is a logical naming schema for grouping related classes. And followed by integer So in integer main we are using int. So the main function, the return type of main function is integer. So we should return a value. It may be 0 or 1 or some integer value we should return. So I am going to use 0. So now we will start the program. So this is an usual syntax. And then, so now what we need? We are in need of an integer value in order to check the value is positive or negative. So I'm going to use integer or else if you want to use float, okay, no problem. Because if you want to use decimal point, you can use float. So now I'll use the float for you. So float, any variable name, you can use A, B, C, X, Y, Z, any variable name you can use as you like. So now I'm going to use, let us say, n. Now I declare the data type and variable name. Now I'm going to use the output statement cout. So I'm going to tell the user enter a value. Okay, so I'm going to stop this line. I'm going to end the line by using semicolon. When our computer saw this symbol, computer understand the end of the line. So it will not proceed further, it will come to the next line. So now you want to get 
the value. User will enter the value you want to get the value. How to get the value? Using C in. So where you are going to store? You declare you are going to store in in. So I am going to use in. Now value is available. So now you want to check using if condition. If n is greater than zero. So if is having two possible condition, true or false. If condition is true, it means that the number is positive. If you want to show the number, show the number. If if the condition is false, so when the condition is false. n is less than zero. So now, show C out. Use the C out statement. The number is like a two. If you want to display the number, display the number n. Now we finish the program. Just go to file and save. In order to save the program, and go to project and build project. In order to check for error, now you can see there are no errors. Okay, and then go to run and run as local C++ application. So now it's asking for enter the value. So the same. So I'm going to give a value. Let us say plus twelve point four. So the number is positive because We have used if condition to check the number is positive or negative. So this is a way where you can check a number is positive or negative. I think you enjoyed this session. Thanks for watching this session.